Would 350 milligrams a week long term be safe? I've been okay with 225 milligrams a week a long time, with even uh, total testosterone 1200 and 3T32, but he has been experimenting with 350 and feels even better and more energetic, better in the gym and so on. Would 350 milligrams a week long term be safe? Uh, I don't know. We know it's safe for 20 weeks. That's the study we have showing 600 milligrams for 20 weeks. I believe that is the only random clinical trial that was officially done on super physiological doses. Right. Yeah. They've done some interesting uh, psychological studies on depression where they gave like a gram a week, but they weren't really looking at health markers on those studies. I mean, that fixed their depression. I mean, how long would that last, right? I mean, yeah, I would correlate this question to are two beers a week safe? Is a glass of wine safe? Uh, I don't know. Try it. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, it depends on the individual. Depends on what you consider safe. Depends on your risk tolerance. Uh, is someone going to prescribe that to you? More than likely not. And if they do, it's probably because you just happen to be one of those people that don't respond very well to low doses. Right. So, you know, it, safety is such a social term. It doesn't really define any absolute values. So it's very difficult to answer because it would require an opinionated answer. We can't give you a factual response. No. And you, and there's, like you say, there's so much stigma around all this because it's a prescription. And, you know, if, if, if it was, if we all had individual responsibility, you could take whatever you wanted and, and it's on you to see how it affects you and you got to accept the consequences. Right. Mm -hmm. But as clinical providers and all that, we can't really say, uh, we don't know. I mean, long term with 350 a week, no, it's probably not harmful, but, what if you're that one person that is? Yeah. I'm less concerned with how much milligrams you're taking. I'm more concerned with what do your labs look like and how are you feeling? How you feel, yeah. Are we, are we taking years off the back end in order to right. give you improved quality today? Because yep. the goal is to improve your life without shortening it, right? So Difficult you know, to do that if you're taking down. years off the back end. I mean, and some people are fine taking years off the back end. I've heard people say that. I'd rather live like this for this many years. And, and that's, you know what? That's actually your right to do that. I can't really, you know, that's the, again, that's more the ethical. Yeah, but unless someone is terminally ill, I don't think that ethically we are able to do that. No, we're not. But I, I get that mindset. There, right? there are, listen, you want to go and have three glasses of whiskey with dinner every night. You know that you're enjoying yourself today and you're going to pay for it in the future. As an adult, you make that decision but it's not going to be prescribed to you. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Hey, thank you for watching. And do this next. Watch one of these videos to learn a ton more about hormone optimization.